clinical researchers quick video on what an IRB is in clinical research. It's an, an institutional review board. They are in charge of overseeing all of the ethics and safety of patients in a clinical trial. So it actually starts before the study even starts. It starts when the protocol by the sponsor is finished the IRB has to approve it. They have to make sure that it's ethical for patients to do this study. They have to make sure that the benefits outweigh the risks. This is an IRB's job. Next, the IRBs have to approve every single investigator that wants to participate in the study. So that's all before the study even starts. Then on an ongoing basis, the IRB is looking at informed consent amendments, protocol amendments, sites, continuous qualification of the sites on a yearly basis. These are all safety and ethical oversight for patients in the study. I know I said I would keep this under one minute, but uh, this is an important thing that's confusing a lot of people is the difference between a central IRB and a local IRB. So everything I just described, those are the fundamentals of what an IRB actually exists to do. That's the purpose of an IRB. Now, most sites, most private sites are able to use central IRBs, meaning this is an IRB that the sponsor has chosen to look at the protocol, to look at the informed consents, to look at all those sites. So any sites that are not under the jurisdiction of a local IRB can use this central IRB. Some sites, however, mostly universities and, and, and hospitals, are under the jurisdiction of their own IRB, their own ethics committees. These are called local IRBs. So in these cases, the local IRBs are the ones looking at these sites while the rest of the sites use central IRBs.